The last great aspect about VoiceThread is the ability to add identities. So from your VoiceThread educator account, again, you have one account, you'll only have one login, but you'll be able to create up to 50 identities to use with your students. So let's head back into the My Voice page. Again, this is your main dashboard. You can create from here. You'll have large, or you'll have voice threads that you've created already here, which makes it very easy to access. In order to create identities, up here in the corner, you'll see whatever your picture is that you have for your identity and your login. If you click right here on this arrow, you have the option to go into my account, to sign out. Right here, you'll see my identities. If you click on that, um, the first time you sign in, of course, you'll only see your identity. I have more here because I've added identities for students from past years. So I have a whole list of students here. Again, I have students from a previous year uh, that we added pictures in. And then, of course, we have students from this year, um, which we will be adding pictures in um, from one of the great avatar sites that are out there. In order to add an identity, it's as simple as clicking here, typing in the name of the student. And then if you want to select an image, you can choose an image from your computer. So if you had um, if you had created avatars and saved them as JPEG files already, you could access them from your computer. If you hadn't done that quite yet, um, it will assign you a picture just in the meantime. Um, let's just say that I chose this one for example. And let's change the name here. So I can either make this smaller, I can make this larger. Um, I actually liked it with showing her reading the book. She looks very involved. Um, so we'll do that just like that. And we'll save it. And now down at the bottom, you should see um, the student with their identity. Um, once you're done, click on done, and then you can go in to the voice threads. You can have the students uh, choose their identity. So let's just say that we go to a voice thread that I've already created. Down here, down here you'll see uh, the picture of the identity that's currently there. If you click on this picture, it's going to give you a list of all of the different identities. Um, so I can choose any of these. Um, so for example, I had Ben on this one. Let's say that we chose Kaylee. Um, now Kaylee's identity is there. So when we comment, hers would actually pop up here as well. And then we'll just use this again just to highlight some important facts. Plimpton established in 1707. And now you can see that there's one that we had already created as well as Kaylee's. Um, if we wanted to delete that, it's as simple as clicking on it and then just clicking on the trash can. In that case, I kept it. Um, but if you want to delete it, there you go. Um, so it's very easy to change comments around um, if you'd like. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please come back and check in for more helpful tutorials. Thank you.